Good morning, children. Welcome back to AVS class. Children, take out AVS textbook. Today we'll see the new lesson. So, children, story of a pot. Pot. I'm going to skip this lesson. This is not so important. We'll go for the next lesson. That is lesson twenty-three. The Earth, our home. So, children, this is a big lesson. So, we'll do. two part and we are going to study this lesson so understand the shape of the earth explain the change in the weather in a day by using the word cloud cloudy rainy and hot remember the identification of direction with the help of the sunrise so your yeah, children You have already learnt about the friends of the sky. Write the names of these friends in the square box. Square given. Take the clues from the picture. So children, here they have given some pictures. So you have to write the name of this. So this is sun. Is it children? Yes, sun. This is moon. This is star. So write it in the box okay children now next so children here is an activity for you all take a plate and fill it with color water keep the plate in the sunlight and adjust it to see the image of the sun in water observe the shape of the sun you might have seen the moon on a full moon day describe its shape, its shape in two lines so children here we'll see about the earth look at the picture given below what picture is this write its name in the space given with the help of your teachers or elders so what is this children this is earth so write here earth so children the shape of the earth is what children it is spherical shape that is round shape so observe the shape of the earth compare the shape of the sun and the moon with the shape of the earth is there any difference describe the shape of the sun and the moon and the earth in the square given so children what is the shape of the sun it is round moon also round then earth that also is round so write it children round round and round so there is no difference in the shape of the earth sun moon okay children yes now we go for next page so which one of the picture given below most resemble the shape of the earth mention so children see here there are some few pictures we'll compare it and which is more resemble to the earth so is the shape of the mango compared to the earth is is a correct no here next orange is the shape is it is round shape yes earth also is in round shape it resembles then grapes it is is it comparatively correct no and banana no papaya also no only orange is similar to the earth the shape is similar to the earth observe the shape of of the earth resemble the shape of an orange more than other object so more than other orange resembles the shape of the earth take an orange touch its north and south tip how do you feel so children here see if you touch the tip of the orange what you can hear it is this here it is not flat but the earth's tip are flat the earth where we live also has two tips there are north tip 
northern tip and south southern tip so as in the case of the orange the north and south tips of the earth are mostly flat yes the earth has its own specific shape this spherical shape of the earth is called geoid shape the photo of the earth with blue green and brown colors look very attractive okay, children we go for next page so this is called the globe children you all might have seen in the school isn't it children yes observe the picture it is a small model of the earth it is called globe so what is the globe the globe is the small model of the earth by using it we know about the earth the globe shows the shape length and breadth of the earth very accurately so this globe is helpful to show the shape length and breadth of the earth so think and make a list of the uses of the globe so children why the globe is used so here you have to write two reason why the globe is used. globe is used to see the different parts of the earth children so it is useful to see different parts of the earth next it is it is very useful to see the portion of the land and the water how much portion at the earth is covered with the land and how much portion the earth is covered with the water observe the globe in your school which color have been used to me to mark the portion of the land and water so land it is green and water it is blue and land it is green and brown identify the portion of the land and water in the given picture and fill it with suitable color so this and all you have to fill it with blue color then remaining part which is land you have to color it with green and brown okay children now here next here is a song so let me sing the song see the globe see the globe see that is the model of the earth see the way the earth rotates see the game of the day and night see the vast land and water see this the life of the living beings so children see here you already know that a globe is the model of the earth it is easy to learn more about the earth with the help of the globe so if you want to learn about the earth the globe is very helpful for us children take the globe observe the observe its flat tips the top tip is called north pole and the bottom tip is called south pole so here children the top tip is called north pole and the down bottom tip is called south pole observe the horizontal and vertical lines drawn on the globe so horizontal and vertical lines you can see children here these are also imaginary lines drawn on the globe so these are not the lines which they are drawn by itself it is just to to, uh, to see the time of the place and distance between the two places okay children see here there are not seen really on the earth so these lines are not seen really on the earth they are drawn to know the time of the place and the distance between two places so these are drawn just to value the difference so the, the difference between the place the distance distance between the two places and time of the place so children here next picture i'm sorry next page observe the given picture in this picture line are drawn horizontally on the globe they are latitudes major latitudes have specific names 
read them with the help of the picture. So here children see here. This is North Pole, South Pole, Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, Equator, the middle line. So Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle. So this is, these are the latitudes. Observe the given picture. Many, may, many lines have been drawn vertically on the globe as the line drawn horizontally. These lines are long, longitudes. Read the names of the important longitudes given in the picture. So, prime meridian. So, these are the longitudes. Here, students, here, this is the picture of the earth. So, see here, this is the water and this is the land. You can color it with brown and green also. On the globe, the portion of the land is called geosphere. So, the portion of the land is called geosphere. And the portion of the water is called hydrosphere. So, the portion of the water is called hydrosphere. Observe the above picture. The portion of the land is separate over here. So, the portion of the land is separate. Next children. And there, the portion of the land that are seen on the globe are called continents. The, the portion of the water which surrounds the continents consists of vast ocean. So, this is the ocean. This is the land. Okay, children. So, uh, this is enough for the today's class, children. So, I hope so you understood the lesson. For the next class, okay, children, I will try to bring the globe and show you all the globe, if it possible. So, then this is enough for today's class, children. Till then, till the next class, children, take care. Bye, children.